Hey everybody, Mr. Kevin here. And on today's episode of uh, Woodworking with Mr. Kevin, we're gonna talk about table saw tools and where I keep them and why. Ooh. It's better if you don't have your table saw tools all over the place and have to walk around the shop looking for them. It's better to keep them within hand's distance. So all my tools are literally, uh, I back up. They're literally like this far away. Everything I need is in this circle of love. My table saw circle of love. <laughs> it's, well, it's not a circle of love. I love my table saw, but don't get ridiculous. So I keep everything within arm's distance, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And within arm's distance of all the tools I need to work on my, work on my table saw, to, to set up my table saw, the magic button is right there, an Allen wrench set, the wrench for the this and the wrench for the that. And so we'll go over all that today and uh, hopefully I help somebody else out because if you're walking around your shop looking for table saw tools, uh, that's the wrong thing to do. It should always be within arm's distance, even if you have little arms. Yeah. And, all right, so let's, I'm gonna go set up on the table saw. We'll film all this and uh, I'll see you shortly. Bye. <laughs> So the first thing I'd like to talk about today is uh, where I keep my table saw tools and why I keep them where I keep them and uh, why are they only this far away. Ooh. I keep all my table saw tools within arm's distance because I don't want to walk all over my little tiny shop which would be miles, you can see how big it is, uh, it would take forever to find anything in here because it's such a mess. Oh. But uh, I like to keep everything at arm's distance, everything I use for this table saw, everything. And we'll start with the magic button. All right, I have my magic button right here. Turn it on. Magic button. It's on Velcro, so there's another two-tip Tuesday for you. Uh, put it on Velcro, put it right there, and it sticks. Yeah, doesn't come off, see? <laughs> Makes it harder to lose. Two-tip Tuesday. The other thing I have on my table saw fence is the Allen wrench that goes for this here puppy right here for the insert for my table saw. Uh, also, Velcroed on there. Beautiful. All right. Now the second thing, most important thing ever, and I always make fun of them, are push sticks. <laughs> Keep my push sticks, even this crazy looking one, very, very handy. As close as possible, because you never know when you need a push stick. And I keep them attached actually to my joiner. And I don't spend a lot of time making these, you know, uh, because they get chewed up like this really fast. So, push sticks. Keep them as close as possible within arm's reach. That way if you need it, eh, boom, it's right here. I grab it and off it goes. Don't keep it across the shop. All right, next thing, my wrenches. Ooh. Yeah, wrenches. <whistles> wrenches. Wrenches are very handy. You always gotta take off the, uh, the Arbor Nut and Washer. So I keep wrenches as close as possible. And these are all screwed onto this bench that I made. Um, Cause I like, a, I, my table saw is actually built into my workbench. I have such a small spot and we'll go over that someday. All right, anyway, next thing is uh, <laughs> miter gauge. Right, right into the slippy slot stories. And you set it up, you can put it down there, boom, bada, boom. Okay, boom. Miter gauge, very handy. Right here, and that's actually built in, and that's actually built into the saw, which is awesome for saw stop. Yay, saw stop. All right, another thing. Uh, right, ooh, look at right here. This is my uh, <laughs> my blade height adjuster jig, ooh. and I'm going to show you this closer up. Uh, this is for setting your table saw. Okay. Your blade height. So if you ever want to set your blade height to all different sizes, it goes from eighth inch to a quarter inch to five sixteenths and three eighths. These are the sizes I use the most, okay? You can make them whatever you like and I'll show you how to make this real quick in a, a video right after this one. All right, cool. So the, this is right here. Okay, and the next thing I have is a set of squares. Little plastic squares in case you want to set something up, double check something. See if something's 45 for real or not. Uh, plastic squares. 
keep them right on the side here and out of the way. All right. And last but not least, uh, I don't know if I can grab them all barehanded or not. <laughs> all right, here we go. Ugh, going down. Oh no, there's more down here. Hold on. Huh. All the table saw blades that I use. There's a whole video on table saw blades over here. All right. And these, I kind of keep in order because I'm kind of weird that way. I go from my uh, milling solid stock all the way down to plywood. And they're way in the back so I can't kick them with my knees. Because uh, I have a tendency to take out everything with my knees. All right, and the very last thing I have down here is a, uh, we could tell off and I use that, angle jigs. All right, my 22 and a half degree jig, uh, 45 and 22 and a half. So you got 22 and a half on one side, you have 45 on the other, right? And you can do it like this, or you can do it like that. Anyway, it'll hold itself up. That way you got hands free and you don't have to like hold the thing on there and check it and look. Ooh. Those live down here too. And there we go. Another tip for you. When your table saw is not in use, put the blade all the way down so somebody doesn't come across and have their hand across it and slice themselves open. Yeah, two tip Tuesday. All right, and there you go. So that's my table saw tools and where I keep them. You keep them with enhanced distance so you don't have to leave the saw, you don't have to go looking around. If you want to turn on the magic button and boom, you got dust collector. Oh, this thing's loose, so you gotta set this up, boom. Put that in there like that. Throw them back on there, you can't ever lose them. Uh, that way when you take your table saw fence off, they're still on there and you can't lose them, see? That's pretty good. I don't want to walk around looking for something if I need a wrench. It's right here. If I want to make sure something's square, I ain't have to look. Yeah. I got me a square. I need a push stick. <laughs> it's right there. If I want to cut something with a miter or cross cut something, I, it's right there. Everything is right there. Oh, and plus you have to have a <laughs> compressed air. That always makes it more fun to use your tools. And last but not least, wax your tools. If you keep your tools all nice and waxed up, they'll be nice and slickery and everything will go better. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Hit the like button, notification bell, and all that. Fling, fling, the bang, bang. Yeah. All right, well, time to go. So you have an awesome day. Go outside and play. Hug somebody you love. Be safe out there. And I'll see you next time right here on the YouTubes on Woodworking with Mr. Kevin. <laughs> That's me. Right. I gotta go. We'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>it's where I keep all my, uh, where I keep my table saw tools. Uh, what's the damn tagline again? I got really long arms. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm balancing. Whoa. My table saw tools and where I, what? Pugga bugga. My table saw, <laughs> so my table saw tools, where I keep them and why. <laughs>